Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for um, the week of January 29th. We're going to jump right in here, Cancer. Uh, you have this companionship card and this connection card. Uh, obviously, you could be looking for a connection. doesn't have to be love either. You could be looking for, you know, this card says the biome. It's just, just like it has this earth on it. So you could be looking for, um, you know, a connection to a location, a connection to um, an environment or, you know, whatever the case may be. So, you know, I do feel, I, but I do feel like you are looking for some sort of uh, connection. And uh, this could also just be friends as well. You know, you have the five wands. Five wands is conflict and competition, but really the five wands is a card of socializing. Um, these people, they are using sticks to fight. They're not using swords. And, you know, really the card kind of represents learning how to fight or, you know, learning or training. So they're kind of like training. So again, I, I, I don't necessarily always think that the five wands is a bad card. Um, I actually think that uh, for the most part, fives are have very easy solutions, as I always say. So, you know, personally, I don't think the fives in the tarot are all that challenging in the first place. But, <laughs> you know, that's just me. And, uh, you know, I feel that for a lot of you, you could be just like trying to find your tribe or trying to find people to socialize with uh, and things like that. So, you know, take it how it resonates. But uh, let's see what we have going on for you here. This top row looks amazing. Um, the whole entire reading actually looks pretty good. Like, you know, for the most part, um, you have the sun, which makes the whole entire reading more positive, a lot of happiness and joy, a little bit of a glow up going on here as well, Cancer. So you have the uh, Empress with the Queen of Wands. Empress, you know, glow up card, being very attractive at this time. The Queen of Wands is a card of seduction. So it doesn't matter what gender you are, but if you're looking for love, uh, now would be the time to get out there and meet someone new and uh, get attention if you are looking for love. Um, this is also great for work as well. You know, um, if you're trying to get a raise or a promotion, you know, now might be the time to ask for a raise or promotion. Because again, these are amazing cards for attention. Uh, you have the five of wands. And again, five of wands is a card of conflict and competition. But again, I get something here about socializing. So again, maybe you're conflicted about socializing. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I think that maybe you should socialize. So it's like maybe you're worried about socializing. But again, I feel like you should get out in public and meet new people or, you know, socialize with your friends and things like that. And I feel that's what this is talking about. Uh, you have the Queen of Cups, which is just your energy. You know, I feel like you're showing up in a very strong position here. Uh, I really like the Queen of Cups right now because, you know, the Queen of Cups, she really follows her heart to like whatever, whatever she wants in life. Doesn't matter, right? She really listens to her inner voice, that inner, you know, her, what her heart is telling her to do. She really values her feelings and what her emotions are telling her to do as well. And really, I mean, quite simply, you know, you have a victory going this way, you have like a victory and also marriage going this way as well. So, you know, it looks really good to me if you are following your heart, which it looks like you are doing at this time, Cancer. So, you know, looks really, really good to me. But uh, let's see what is going on for you here. Uh, with the sun, you have the hangman here. So uh, the hangman is about enlightenment. The sun is about enlightenment as well. And maybe you've been looking for some inner answers or you've been looking for some guidance. And I, that's kind of like the feeling I get here. Um, that you've just been looking for answers on the direction you want to go in life or maybe what like what type of accomplishments you want to have because you have the world here. You know, we go this way, uh, world to the chariot. Some of you definitely could be moving, by the way. <laughs> or or like I said, you could be forming a new connection to a new location. So it doesn't have to be a person. Like I said, you could just be forming a connection to a person or to a type of person or whatever. With the five of wands, you have the six of pentacles. Six of pentacles, a card of equal give and take and planting seeds. I kind of feel like this is what you're looking for in all connections, obviously, is equal give and take. Um, you know, especially if you're attracting love, I feel like you're looking for a person uh, who doesn't breadcrumb you, obviously. And, you know, that's a good thing. Uh, I also feel it would be an amazing time for you, clearly, to plant seeds. Um, you know, I think that's true for everyone, but definitely water signs. I encourage the most to, you know, try new things. It's just that simple. Six of Pentacles is like taking a step, you know, trying something new, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't, doubling down on the stuff that works. That, that is the secret to success for water signs. I say, it, you know, I say it every single reading because literally it's the only thing that you need to do. And I also need to remind myself too. <laughs> so that's why I say it. Uh, with the Queen of Cups, you have the Nine of Wands. Yeah, Nine of Wands is about not giving up. It's a card of perseverance and, and keep going. Um, and it I, apparently it just doesn't even want to... Uh, be in this reading, but I feel that for a lot of you, this is saying it's time for you to open your heart. 
uh, or it's time for you to open up, which we also kind of see in the next row as well. Um, but uh, we'll talk about that in a second. But I feel that the Nine of Wands is a card of boundaries and maybe needing to put down some boundaries. It's not like you're just like letting any old person into your life or anything like that. But, you know, again, I do feel there's this energy of needing to kind of like open up. And we see that right here. You have this Truth Be Told card. And you can see there's that mask with the, the owl with its kind of chest open there as a window. And so I feel for a lot of you, this is encouraging you to, uh, you know, show the world who you really are. The change in the wind card, I do feel there are clearly changes coming in for you. Some of you are being pushed in a new direction. And we have all this movement going on here, like moving cards. Uh, you even have the two of wands as well um, with the, the world, the chariot, the biome card. So a lot of you, it, maybe you're not moving, but you could be making moves in life. Uh, you could also be um, feeling a stronger pull to move in a new direction, like to get a raise or promotion at work or, you know, to grow your business or whatever it is you do. Uh, you know, it, it seems to me like there's some sort of pull uh, to maybe grow, right? And you even have this goldfish card, which I love. This card says some, I actually can't read it from here, but <laughs> it says something about an increase in material wealth. So it, you are being pulled towards an increase in like abundance. We see that right here as well with the Empress. Uh, I feel if you're putting energy into the right things that you are going this way to the Justice card, that obviously uh, if you do put energy into the right things, you are gonna see material growth or you, you are going to see things, you know, energy growing in some way in your life. So uh, that's kind of like what I feel here with the Empress. I, I feel like there could be a lot of growth or abundance coming in for you. I also feel you could be having like a little bit of a glow up here uh, at this time. So, you know, in a lot of ways, this could just be you, uh, you know, glowing up, getting attention. You have the world. The world is about an accomplishment. Uh, I do feel like some of you are moving or will be. I, I feel for others of you, you are kind of, um, you know, you could be like traveling uh, or you could be also just feeling pulled in a new direction. And I kind of feel this has to do with work for whatever reason. And But I feel like it's like work that's more worth it because you have the justice card right next to it. So, you know, if you've been working on projects or if you have a business or a career that just doesn't, hasn't been worth it, like you haven't been getting paid your worth or um, you're not making enough money, just plain and simple. It looks to me like you are doing something here. It's like you're taking the lead going this way to get paid like your worth. The two wands about really taking the lead and taking control of your world. He's holding the whole world in his hands and he's finding success because of that. But, um, you know, he needs to kind of like get out into the world. It's something behind him here is complete and he's reaching forward to this new wand and that new wand could be whatever. And, you know, it's almost like you have, like something is complete in your life or, you know, you have gone as far as you can go in a situation in your life is kind of what I feel. And now it's time to reach forward to the next thing. Uh, you have the Nine of Pentacles, which literally just says you have the skills to do it. <laughs> the the Nine of Pentacles, she has these grapes behind her and grapes in the tarot uh, represent specific skills uh, or something that requires a specific skill to grow. And so for a, a lot of you, uh, I feel like you have the skills necessary to make something successful in your life. Uh, she's also the card of independence. And I kind of feel like you're just able to, you know, kind of like take care of yourself at this time, or you could be increasing your earnings. There's definitely an increase in your, in your abundance here, uh, Cancer. So love it. With the Empress, you have the Four Cups. Four Cups says that you have not been getting your worth. Like I, I kind of already touched on this in this reading. Like I got this feeling here that you're getting something that you is you know, your, that really matches your value, like what you put into it and what you get out of it with that two wands. Normally I would feel that on the justice card, but you have justice, six of pentacles, all about value and, you know, energetic value. So I see something there with this, where it's like, you could be an empress, but you're not getting, uh, you're not getting paid the empress amount, right? <laughs> and I kind of feel that's what this is saying, uh, but that's about to change for you here, Cancer. I hope that makes sense. With the world, you have the nine of cups. Yes, you are about to find fulfillment and happiness. Nine of cups is a card of fulfillment. I do feel you should make a wish, you know, uh, nine of cups is a card of wish fulfillment. But really, the Nine of Cups is about bathing in the energy of what you want. It's, it's about matching the energy of something uh, that you desire to have in your life. And so I, I really feel that you need to do that, um, that you need to just match the energy of what you desire. And uh, if you do that, you will find fulfillment. So that's what I would do there. 
Uh, with the Nine of Pentacles, you have the Three of Swords. Three of Swords is a card of separation. Maybe you've been single for a while because of a separation. I kind of do, like, I wouldn't say there's love here necessarily, but again, it's a general reading. As I always say, love is always available to us. So, you know, whenever you want it, you can go get it, right? And, uh, you know, it's just that simple. And people always say, no, it's not that easy. I'm like, uh, yes, it is. If I went to the store right now and I asked every single person out in the store, someone would say yes. So it is that easy. Um, it's not that hard. <laughs> uh, but maybe you just don't want to do the things that you need to do to get it, right? So uh, again, but that's not the whole point of this reading. The point of this reading is that I do feel like some of you are getting to the place where you're going to be opening up to love. So, um, you know, there isn't love here. Like I said, it's always available to us if we want it, if we go and get it. Um, but uh, at the same time, I kind of feel you're more focused on other things right now, cancer. And again, that does not mean that you won't have love, of course, right? So uh, again, I kind of feel you're just in this place of healing, I, I, but mostly because you have Nine of Pentacles, Empress, doesn't matter what gender you are. I feel like maybe you're just kind of focusing on your personal glow up or you're focusing on improving your life in some way. And you know, if love comes in, it'll come in, right? Uh, next, in the area of what's coming towards you, you have this broken bridge card it says unsuccessful outcome to a problem. I kind of see you moving past something though because of the four cups, um, because of the four cups, um, six of pentacles and justice. You have this golden fish card or this gold fish card. It says increase in material wealth and spiritual growth. So definitely an increase in material wealth uh, and spiritual growth in your life. Uh, like I said, we, we really see good energy in this reading for you, Cancer. Uh, you Your very first card here is the queen of wands, which is great. Uh, queen of wands is about being bold, being assertive, really going for what you want. Um, you know, I really feel like saying that Queen of Wands is the card of the the next two decades, right? It, if we want to be successful, for all of us, every single person, I think we have to embrace the energy of the Queen of Wands. Uh, she is not protected from fire, like all the other Wands court cards. She's the only Wands court card that does not have salamanders on her cloak. And salamanders represent protection from fire. So she is not protected. And it kind of says that, you know, it kind of represents the fact that she has to take certain risks in life without knowing if she's going to be successful or not. She just has to find out. <laughs> she is my card of learning as she goes. She also moves towards the sun. You have the sun here. And so what does that mean? It means that she moves towards what fills her heart, what uh, brings her joy and happiness, queen of cups as well, right? So you have to move towards the sun. She also needs to not care what people think. She has this black cat right here. Uh, during the times of tarot, black cats were considered very unlucky. So the whole point of the black cat is that she doesn't care what anyone thinks. She just likes her black cat, right? So uh, your job is to you know move towards enlightenment, move towards the sun and the hype hangman, your very first two cards, which say that you have gained enlightenment. You probably do know what you wanna do with your life right now. Maybe moving in that direction is a little bit of a challenge, but you know I think you'll face the challenge. You have the justice card. Something is balancing out here. You know, I do like readings that go Six of Pentacles to Justice. Six of Pentacles is kind of, you know, pre-Justice energy. It is, uh, you know, he's this, the Six of Pentacles, he's holding the scales right there, uh, you know, of Justice. So I feel for some of you, but something wasn't fair, but now like something is coming into fairness, but it's not like the same thing. And here's what I mean by that. It's like, maybe you have been in a relationship in the past and it was the person breadcrumbed you or it wasn't very fair. It's not like you're going back to that relationship. I feel that there's balance coming in, in the sense that you're opening up to something new that has much greater potential, uh, two of wands, which we kind of already talked about. So um, the two of wands really tells is probably your most important card here. I would say uh, these there are other cards that are definitely you know considered to be better cards in the tarot, but I think that the two of wands energy is probably your most important energy to work with this week because you know I think that will that's the thing that is going to get you all this all this right here the victory right <laughs> so this is the victory the chariot is also you. So it's you showing up in a very strong position, uh, getting what you want from a reading whenever you show up as yourself, like the major arcana version of yourself. But the chariot is also about like uh, setting yourself apart. Um, you know, again, finding a connection to a new location. He's living, he's leaving behind where he has always been and he's going somewhere new. He doesn't really know where he's going. He's going somewhere he's never been before. He's allowing the universe to guide him. And so you are being guided in like new directions, but new directions that will probably lead to a lot of success. Uh, with the Queen of, Cu Queen of Wands, sorry, you have the uh, Knight of Wands, a lot of adventure going on here. So it wouldn't surprise me, uh, you know, right here as well, two wands leaving a comfort zone. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if you were going on an adventure 
Uh, also wouldn't surprise me if you were just doing something that you desire. Uh, the Sun, the Empress, Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands, they, these are all cards that say you desire to do something. Could be anything. Maybe you want to make a, the, the newest flavor of Jell-O. I don't, that, that could be the adventure you go on, right? It doesn't freaking matter. Uh, it just matters that you do something that fills your heart, right? That's all that matters. Going this way here from the Queen of Cups. So yeah, that's it. I think that you could just be doing that, right? <laughs> Whatever it is. With the Justice card, yes, you have the Ace of Swords. Definitely victory and the sword right here. So, you know, this could be some sort of truth that you are living. I don't really see this as the truth coming out for you. I see that this is more, uh, I, I really feel this reading is more saying that you are living your truth, truth be told. So there is like a truth coming out in the reading, but it's your truth. <laughs> you are telling the truth to the world by just being who you are. Uh, so, you know, I, I kind of feel that's what this is saying. And it's definitely gonna be a victory. You have like 20 cards of victory here. With the chariot, you have the page of swords. This is the this is the type of curiosity where you do something in life that is hard and then you're like, oh, what else can I do? You know, that's like the feeling I get here where you're going to be doing things, not just this week, but probably this year that maybe um, require some strength or, you know, are a little bit outside your comfort zone. And the more you do it, the more you're gonna wanna do it, which is a good thing. And that's why I always encourage people to leave a comfort zone. It's like, once you have one success, outside your comfort zone. It's like, oh, what else? You know, I did that, which was hard, but I did it. So like, what else can I do? So, you know, I kind of get that feeling here um, on the page of swords, which is a good thing, obviously. Uh, next in the area of the good stuff, you have this card that says, your angels are working behind the scenes. Things will come together at the right time. Love it. You have this card that says, be careful who you take advice from. I, don't, I Like everybody has had these cards of really being careful with like the, um, you know, with who they listen to. So, you know, I think the person that you should listen to is your heart, like I already said, with the Queen of Cups. Pretty simple. I think you just need to listen to that inner voice, you know, listen to what your heart um, is telling you to do. Uh, you have the two of wands, ten of wands, and the hierophant. Two of wands about taking the lead. Something behind you. It's like something is complete and you're ready for the next level. Or you are ready to level up here. <laughs> so, something is going on with you leveling up or leveling up to the next level. And uh, yeah, I feel like it's going to lead to a lot of success. I also feel like you're, you know, there's something about the world here. Because you have the world. You have this biome card with the world on it. You could be moving or traveling or just opening up to the world, which would be a good idea. You have the Ten of Wands. Uh, Ten of Wands and the good stuff just says that your hard work is paying off. So if you have been working hard or putting in the work, you're starting to see results. He's about to reach his home back here, this village. And those Ten of Wands are his harvest. So really, personally, I like the Ten of Wands. Um, to me, it's a good card. It just says you're about to have a harvest. Really good. Uh, you have the Hierophant. Hierophant can represent marriage. So if you're looking for love, definitely could be marriage coming in. It's coming up at the end, which really is the future position. So again, if you're attracting love, uh, could be someone coming in in the future if you want love. Could be a Taurus for sure. You have a Taurus here like three times. Empress, um, the uh, Hierophant, and also the world has Taurus on it as well. So uh, take it how it resonates. Could be any sign, general reading, but uh, you could definitely be attracting a person. Uh, let's see. With the two of wands, you have the eight of swords, setting yourself free. Um, again, showing up in the good stuff. So this would tell me that you are leaving a comfort zone, that you are kind of like setting yourself free here. Uh, with the 10 of wands, you have the ace of cups. Ace of cups is your emotions overflowing, being really happy, getting something you want. So I feel that there is a lot of happiness and joy coming in for you here with the ace of cups. Um, I, I feel there's a lot of good stuff coming in for you in general. Uh, it, it could be love in the future. Uh, with the Hierophant, you have the King of Wands. You have the King and Queen of Wands. Love it. <laughs> uh, if you want love, you're going to have to go on an adventure to get it. So some of you could be attracting a person from a distance. Uh, it doesn't have to be, though. It could just, the adventure could be, uh, you know, leave, taking that step outside your front door and getting in public and meeting a person in public, not on Tinder, right? So, um, you know, I feel for a lot of you that you could be like meeting a person in public or on an adventure, like get, just being out during the day or something like that. Uh, it could be a fire sign. But again, I, you know, to me, the king and queen of wands, are they just desire each other. So... You know, I think that you could just be attracting a person where there's a lot of desire. It could be whatever sign. Uh, we're pulling five main themes now. You have this escape card. Yeah, you are. I, I, I don't know that this is like an escape, but I do feel like you are getting away from something that has been holding you back. Again, like this is an amazing reading. And we see a lot of cards that could represent potentially like freedom or setting yourself free. So love it. 
Now you have this defense card. I, I don't think there is anything that you need to defend here. I think that this is saying that you should defend your ideas by not sharing them with other people and also not listening to other people as well. <laughs> you know, and of course, you know, there are people who have good advice. There are people who have bad advice. Who should you take advice from? I, my rule is I only take advice from people that who I would change lives with. Like, you know, if I would live that person's life for the most part, then I will take their advice. If I wouldn't, then I wouldn't listen. It's just that simple. So that's what I would do there. Uh, you have this bluff card. Mm, I don't know. Pisces had this as well. It, it's like, I, I think water signs are in this time where it's like, I don't know. I, I, I think water signs, people like put water signs in a bubble. They, like, you know, people say, oh, this is cancer in my life. It's almost like people in your life, you know, have you attached to some sort of identity. And I think that water signs are kind of like breaking that identity that people have for us. And so people could be surprised by changes you're making, but good. <laughs> you have this risk card. Definitely, we talked about this with the Queen of Wands. Definitely time for you to take some sort of risk. The Queen of Wands is about like stepping out uh, into the unknown and learning as you go. And I think that could be the type of risk that you're taking at the time, at this time, or those are the types of risks that you could be taking at this time. It's also kind of weird because I feel like you are realizing that like certain risks are not a risk. You know, it's, it's almost like you're seeing that like what some things that you have been doing are really the risk and other ways of doing things are not risky, even though they might seem risky, right? <laughs> so I don't know. I hope that makes sense. Uh, you have this restlessness card. Uh, I feel like you need to channel that restless energy. I also am getting something about easy answers here as well as popping into my head as well. It's almost like, you know, like you could be wondering something and it's like, if you would just go get the answer, you would stop being restless. You know, maybe you're like, if like, you know, for example, um, you know, like one of the number one questions I used to get all the time when I did readings was like, should I tell this person I'm interested in them? Like I'm interested in my friend or whatever. And I I used to always say like, yes, you're living a lie right now by not telling them. And it, it, it's like, you know, I, I think people think like, oh, if I, um, if I if I'm wrong and I don't t and I tell this person we won't be friends anymore and I always used to say to those people it's like yeah but you know you like you want something more and that is the truth <laughs> and so yes maybe it ruins the the friendship which does kind of suck but at the same time at least you get that energy out it's like when we bottle that stuff up bad things happen I'm convinced like when we bottle up energy and don't say things to people and stuff like that that's where bad things happen so you know I think it's much better to get it out and just tell a person you're interested. If they're not interested, at least now you know. You don't have to like suffer anymore wondering if they're interested. It's like now you know. You have an answer. You can move forward even if they say no, right? So, and I don't think that's going to happen, but I kind of feel like some of you need to get an answer here, whatever. Uh, really good reading here, Cancer. I like where this is going though. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.